What's up you guys? So today I'm coming to you with a festival makeup look. I did not film an intro so today's intro is going to be me doing my eyebrows but I'm not going to go into detail because I did my eyebrows for like the past three videos so y'all know the routine. Okay, moving on to the star of the show. So, we are priming our eyelids with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I always do this, and I'm just going to blend that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And then I'm going to set that with my Maybelline Setting Powder. Now I'm going in with my 35B palette, and I'm going to be going in with this orange shade into my crease area. And now I'm going in with this more pinkish shade and this is kind of where I messed up at first because I'm going for more of like an orange look on the crease so that it'll blend better into my lid color. So now to fix it, I'm going into my Saharan palette from Juvia's Place and using that orange shade to um, kind of orange it up again. And um, then I'm just blending all of those colors in together just to give myself an orange color on the crease area. Now I'm going in with Jamila from the Saharan palette and I'm just using that to deepen the crease a little bit. Um, I do go back later on in the tutorial, you'll see it to deepen the crease a little bit more, but just for now, I was just kind of playing with the colors. And then I'm going to also bring Jamila into my um, contour area of my nose just to deepen the eye a bit and give it a more tribal look. Now I'm cleaning up my lid with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, just carving out my lid area where I'm going to be applying my lid shade. Now I'm going in with the shade Wu Dhabi from the Saharan palette and I'm just packing that onto my lid. Now I'm going into the shade Iman and I'm placing that in my inner tear ducts. Now I'm going into this ColourPop eyeshadow palette and using the shade Take It Slow for my brow bone highlight. Now I'm using this NYX eye pencil in the shade Aqua Shimmer and I'm just using that to line my waterline and also bring it a little lower so that I can kind of smoke out that color. And I'm also pulling it down towards my nose if you can see that and I'm also dragging it up so it's like a wing liner but I'm not doing a wing liner because I'm not bringing that color onto my lid.
Now I'm going into my Tardius Pro palette and I'm using the shade Edgy to deepen up my crease a little bit. And I felt like I put a little too much so I'm going to be going over that with the shade Whimsy just to bring that orange back out. But it's also a deeper orange so it's still going to deepen my crease the way that I want it to while also blending that um, color Edgy into my crease. And then I'm going to be going back into my 35B palette from Morphe and using those two blue shades to um, smoke out that lower waterline right on top of that NYX um, Aqua Shimmer eyeliner pencil. Now I'm just using some concealer to clean up that blue underneath my eye and also kind of bring it to a point near my nose so that my dots will line up and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment here. These lashes are from Lena Lashes in the style Monroe. Now I'm going to be using the NYX liquid liner in the shade white obviously and I'm just going to be placing dots along that blue line that I created underneath my eyes to kind of make it a cat eye. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing this along the blue edge where I would have a wing liner. Now at this point, I am not trying to fool y'all. I literally was making this up as I went. So I was just placing dots where I thought it would balance the look out a little bit. Um, if I would just would have left it on the bottom, I just don't think it would have looked right. So at this point, I'm just playing around with it. And um, now I'm going in with my NYX Hot Cocoa Lip Liner. And then I went in with ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lipstick in the color Tulips. And it was just a little too purple for me. So I'm going to apply it all over the lips just to um, get it on there. And then I'm going to be going back in with ColourPop's Matte Lipstick in the shade Limbo. And placing that right on top of Tulips. Now I'm going back in with that NYX liquid liner and I'm doing that line on my lip. Let me tell y'all, this was the hardest thing I ever had to do <laughs> and my hands are not sturdy. So I messed up a little bit and I made it too wide. So now I'm just going in with the angle brush and the Limbo liquid lipstick and I'm just cleaning up the sides. That's just a little tip. If you ever do the line on your lip and you can't get it right, just go back with your liquid lipstick and straighten it out. So now <laughs> I am so winging it because I saw a look on Pinterest and um, it kind of inspired me to do the lines on my forehead. You could definitely stop at the line on the lip, but I just went ahead and put the lines on my forehead. I thought it was cute and it's something different. So um, yeah, you could just watch me play around with these lines on my forehead. <laughs> And that is the final look, you guys. I did my um, face makeup and um, highlighting and contouring, all that good stuff off camera because I've done it in my past videos before. So I didn't want to bore you guys. Today was simply about the look. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to get notified every time I post a video, just make sure to hit that bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.